Mick, how important was that victory? Yeah, um, that's a pretty, yeah, pretty important when it comes to uh, trying to build momentum, trying to, uh, you know, when I was getting a bit, the weather's getting a bit better. We always say, we always joke about saying we're a, uh, we're a dry weather team, but um, yeah, you know, every game uh, has some form of importance to it, you know, uh, whether it is improving certain factors of our game or, you know, just, just getting some wins under our belt and uh, building some momentum. So, yeah, I guess every game is important uh, in that aspect. But, um, yeah, when we play Huddersfield, it's always uh, a, a physical game, a close game as well. I think we're just talking about, you know, the last three years or so, every game we've played here has been a one-pointer or, you know, a one-try game. So, uh, that's, that's a norm now, I think. <laughs> that's what you can expect. But... Um, yeah, I think it was, it was a great game as well to watch for the fans uh, to finish a great Easter weekend, you know, of rugby. Um, yeah, it, it was it was good to be back at Headingley as well. Yeah, record breaking crowds over, over the weekend, uh, and a great buzz around the stadium. So it must have been enjoyable to play in front of that. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, uh, even even looking at other games, yeah, the set, you know, the derbies across across the league. Um, it's great to see you know stadiums getting sold out and. Uh, you know, people flooding the stadiums, watching watching the great that great game. That's rugby league. So, in that you know, in that aspect, um, it's, a, it's a massive shout out to the fans um, across England. You know, for, for making for making the game even more enjoyable for us as, as players, and uh, you know that they make the game for what it is. So, uh, what it is, I mean. So, um, yeah, you know, they're a big part of it. And um, today, it is just great to be back at Headingley. Um, absolutely love playing here, and. Um, yeah, I think it's one of the best atmospheres in in, in Super League. So uh, to be back home, it's it's great for me as well. It was a disappointing start to the game. Two tries. Uh, <coughs> Rowan spoke in his press conference about the need to to improve our starts. Can you put a finger on what what was in those early changes? Um, can I put a finger on it? Probably not, Phil. I was I was uh, out there <laughs> breathing a bit heavy, so there wasn't, wasn't much time for thinking uh, as a middle, but. Um, yeah, you know, probably, it, pff, I'm not too sure. It's something, you know, we did last year as well. We started a bit late, um, you know, it took us a while to start faster. So um, it's something that we're looking at and um, it's, it's a big part of our game as a team that we'll, we'll try to improve, especially us as middles. I think we can be, uh, me personally, you know, I can, I can probably start faster. Um, you know, the more games I'll have under my belt, the, the more... Um, I'll try to change that in my game as well, improve, I mean. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's something we'll look at and we'll improve game on game. Um, we're, we're eight, nine rounds in, so uh, I don't think, you know, it's something to panic about. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big thing that we're going to work on, though. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're a great team that can score tries from, from anywhere. Uh, we've got, you know, great talent all over the field, so uh, scoring tries probably isn't a big issue. It's just, yeah, like you say, um, starting well is, is a big factor for us. And on the flip side, I presume you take confidence how we're playing in second half, so we're you know, coming, coming really strong in, in the second half. Yeah, on the other hand, same last year, uh, we're a team that kind of steps up in second half. Uh, we don't really look at the scoreboard. Um, Rowan's kind of against that, you know, looking at scoreboard because he knows that um, like I said, we're, we're a team that can score tries, and uh, we, you can you know the scoreboard. That's the beauty of sport. You know, you can turn the scoreboard uh, until the final whistle. You know, to a degree. So uh, that that's something we don't really pay much attention to until you know we have to when it comes to you know drop goals or whatever it is that we have to uh, do. But yeah, so if you play well, I guess scoreboard takes care of itself.